Uh, just just a couple, uh, it's been not quite a year ago now, just a few months back. And one single week, I heard a report from Madagascar. In Madagascar, over 3,000 people received the baptism of the Holy Ghost in one single service, speaking in other tongues, just like they did in Acts chapter 2. Said, well, it ain't happening like in the Bible anymore. Well, it just did in Madagascar just a few months ago. In the very same week in Thailand, it was all over social media, on Facebook and everything. There was a lame man came into that conference in Thailand on crutches. God healed him. He threw the crutches down. They got him in slow motion video jumping up and down. But well, God ain't healing people a day like he used to. Well, it just happened in Thailand just a few weeks ago. Very same week in the Philippines, Brother Anthony Mangan and the crowd from Because of the Times were over there. They had a big old giant uh, crusade out in the stadium. Over 5,000 people received the baptism of the Holy Ghost in one single service. I was just in Philippines a few weeks ago. I don't know what you've been listening to. I'm just telling you, if you'll just get tuned in, you're going to find we have another victory report here on the Faith Channel tonight. God is healing. God is delivering. God is bringing people out of darkness. Uh, Somebody's backslidden daughter just prayed through. Uh, Somebody's friend just got the baptism. Come on, you just got to get tuned in over here on the FM dial where you're going to hear some good news. I don't know how much you know about your Bible, how much you read your Bible. But if you've read it very much at all, you would recognize what I just told you. Because in Acts chapter 2, 3,000 received the baptism of the Holy Ghost after the upper room visitation. In Acts chapter 3, a lame man was healed as Peter and John were on their way to the temple. And in Acts chapter 4 and 5, you're going to hear the story of 5,000 more being added to the church. What happened in Acts chapter 2, 3, and 4 has just taken place in the United Pentecostal Church just in three reports. It all happened in one single week. Don't let the devil lie to you and tell you there's no victory, there's no anointing, there's no miracles, there's no blessing. It's just not true. Get tuned in to something you can hear. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I said, can you hear me? I was I preached a service at our general conference in Columbus, Ohio. 1,108 people received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Uh, because of my travels all around the world and my great mentor, Brother Billy Cole, you're looking at a man that has seen 22 times. And the reason I keep using that number 3,000, if you read Acts chapter 2, the first time the Holy Ghost fell on the day of Pentecost, 3,000 people received it. So it's always been this hallmark of a Pentecostal experience. 22 times in my life, I've seen more than 3,000 people receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues in one single service. I was in one service in Ethiopia where over 120,000 people received the baptism of the Holy Ghost in one single service. Say, people aren't praying like that anymore. I'm telling you, there's more people receiving the Holy Ghost in 2017 than we're receiving it in Acts chapter 2 and in the days of the apostles. I was recently in Islamabad, Pakistan, and in one single service, eight people who were blind received their sight and were healed in that one night. That is more in one night than is recorded in the entire book of Acts, if you'll read it all the way through. I wish I was helping somebody tonight. I don't know what you're looking at, but if you'll get tuned in and hear, I hear the sound of abundance. Churches are building. Churches are growing. The spirit of the Lord is being poured out. People are getting saved. The anointing is breaking the yokes. People are being delivered. I'm going to tell you there's more happening in this very church than you're aware is going on. 